Hey, good morning, church family. Pastor Anthony here, and I just want to definitely welcome you to uh, this time of our uh, Tuesday morning prayer and encouragement service. So I hope that you are uh, going to join with us this morning and maybe get online with us as we uh, come together during this prayer time. It's very important for us to uh, pray for one another, to pray, uh, you know, just to ask the Lord to definitely bless us this morning. Good morning, Pastor Jennifer. It's good to see you here this morning on this uh, prayer and encouragement time. And uh, it's just definitely important for us to gather. As, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, we're, we're in uh, just some crazy times, if you will, just times that are uncertain, times that are changing every day. But uh, the reality is, as we talked about on Sunday, we have an unchanging God in, in a, a, a world that is changing every day. Uh, our own community changing every day. We have an unchanging God, and I am very thankful for uh, just the blessings of God and just how wonderful uh, of a hope that we have and how wonderful our God really uh, truly is when we learn to just trust in Him and, and ask the Lord to, to bless us. So um, I'm glad to see uh, each of you that have come on this morning. Uh, I won't be able to see too many names uh, here. I'm trying to it this morning so that it would come through a little bit better. So I apologize if I'm not able to uh, call out all of your names um, and such. So just trying to, uh, to navigate uh, through uh, all of this uh, live and figuring out good ways so I don't come in kind of uh, jiggity and stuff like that. So um, I will definitely be praying for you and, and I will be looking at the comments uh, once we're done because I just don't have uh, that big of a screen here to uh, do so. So when I'm reading comments, I'm looking down and you see my face kind of looking. But hey, hey, whatever we're here <laughs> we're gonna pray and i want to just share some encouragement with you and i see that uh, people are coming on so it is definitely wonderful to see uh, the group of uh, people that are coming on this morning to uh, kind of be part of this important time and uh, again you can look at um, if, if you want to send a prayer request you can certainly do that through our website at any time. That's tobchurch.org. And um, that then it has a contact area. And if you're on your phone, it'll say prayer request. Or you can go to our contact. And there's a, a prayer area there as well. Um, so um, you can do that. And then at that point, uh, submit your prayer request. And it doesn't have to necessarily be uh, right now. Um, um, if you get to that, but if, if it is, is then send it, if not, so I've just got my computer going here. So now, uh, let me just give a shout out. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, Karen. Uh, good morning, Amanda, Sylvia, Tim and Sylvia, Jesse. Good to see you. Rasan, Good to see you here. Praise the Lord. Cameron. Uh, it's definitely good to see you here as well. And Alan, good morning to you. And uh, if I didn't get it, Amanda, good morning. Praise the Lord uh, to see you here. Um, so anyways, um, very thankful. And so I'm kind of doing a double here, tablet here, computer down here and kind of kind of making it happen. But you know what? That's what we do, right? We make it happen. We make it work. And uh, we're thankful. So give me give me a thumbs up, everybody, right now as we uh, begin our time and I'll see those thumbs up come firing in here in just a second. We're probably just on a, a, a delay and, and, and such like that. So uh, now that I can see um, your information on the computer here, I might can, I can catch up with any prayer requests. There's my thumbs up. Praise the Lord. Good morning. It's a, a wonderful blessing. Look at them all. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, this morning is uh, we have lots of uh, prayer requests uh, that have come through. Uh, good morning, Brother Bill. God bless you. Good to see you here. Praise the Lord for that. 
um, that we've had a lot of prayer requests come through and 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 I and I print them out. So these are the the prayer requests that have come through our email, through our website that I will certainly be uh, mentioning uh, this morning. And again, what I what I've mentioned before is that when we pray for needs, um, I'm not necessarily going to uh, you know uh, mention in detail because again, we want to be sensitive to uh, people's hearts, to people's uh, needs, but, uh, you know, and, and we just want to keep everybody comfortable and, and, and maybe each one, uh, good to see you, Ladina here, uh, Virginia. Good morning. God bless you. Um, so again, we, we just want to, uh, make the details known, make the name known so that people see that we are faithful in praying. Um, but we don't necessarily always need to, uh, on this type of platform, share all the details. And I, and I hope you understand uh, where I'm coming from. Um, but we want to be sensitive to prayer. And the good news is the power of prayer is, as we've talked about before, um, uh, uh, the, the power of prayer is not so much in uh, our own efforts, but the power of prayer is in him whom we are praying for, uh, to. So the Lord has all the ability, has all the power. He is the beginning and the end. He is a sovereign God. So we are thankful. And yes, um, Amanda, I agree that they will have a little bit of lag as I'm watching that in between. So it's kind of a trip. <laughs> but, uh, but praise the Lord for uh, technology and computers. Amen. Nonetheless. Um, so uh, it, our prayers are not feeble. The, in fact, the Bible says that the prayer of the righteous availeth much uh, simply because we um, are, are praying to Jesus who is inside of us. And, and the Bible tells us that it's the Holy Spirit God's Holy Spirit that will guide us. And, and I want to encourage you that sometimes when uh, we don't know what to pray, the Bible says when we don't know what to pray, we can ask God to help us. And it's the Holy Spirit inside of us once we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, that it's actually God's Spirit that will help us to pray. Have you ever been in a situation where you just don't know what to pray or how to pray or you just kind of in a, in a, in a very, uh, very sensitive uh situation or circumstances and you're just like man I don't know what to say and maybe you're weeping maybe you're crying maybe maybe you know you just don't know what to do or, or say the Bible gives us a wonderful blessing that says when we don't know what to pray that God himself will help us to pray and here's the great news when God helps us to pray, when God uh, gives us the words to pray, we are praying, the Bible says, the will of God. And when you pray the will of God, you can, get, uh, you can know one thing as a guarantee, that you will get your prayers answered. God will help you pray his will to get your prayers answered. And I don't know about you, but I certainly want all of my prayers to be effective, to be powerful, and for the Lord to not only hear them, but to, to, to bless them, to grant them. Good to see you, Debbie. God bless you uh, this morning. And uh, so I just wanna encourage you that seek the Lord. Ask God, how do I pray for this situation? God, how do I have strength in this situation? Lord, can you give me just the, the, the knowledge uh, that I need, the wisdom that I need to navigate through these days? And the, the beautiful part is once you've accepted God into your life, once you've asked the Lord to, to be very present uh, in your life, that you've said, Lord, come into my life. I believe in you. I believe you're my Lord, my Savior. As we just celebrated, I believe that you died, that you rose again, which was just this celebration last week, Easter Sunday, resurrection, hallelujah, praise the Lord. What a beautiful, beautiful uh, time that we had uh, with the Lord. So we are very thankful uh, for that and we celebrate Jesus Christ is alive today. And what does that mean to you and I? Simply this, friend, that if Jesus Christ is alive today, then he is very well and active in our lives, helping us to get through all things that is going on as we trust in him. And I hope that you are trusting in him. I hope that you are seeking the Lord today and that you are certainly with him. As the Lord impressed on my heart, a time of encouragement before we get to our uh, prayer time 
and um, and such. I, I want to share with you some some scriptures as a time of encouragement. As I have mentioned to you before, that this service uh, is a time of encouragement and prayer. Whereas we know that it's the word of God that gives us true encouragement. It's the word of God who gives us true strength. It's the word of God that gives us faith. In fact, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing, hearing the message of Christ or the word of God. So friend, if you are looking for faith, if you are looking for faith to navigate through these days, the Bible says that it is the word of God that will give us faith. So we must just dive into, we must jump into, we must engulf as much word of God as we can, which will strengthen our faith. And you say, well, what does that help me do? Faith help us, helps us to navigate through life. Faith helps us to believe in God's promises. Faith helps us to not grow weary in doing good. Faith causes us to be the victor and not the victim. Faith causes us to be the overcomer and not the one who gets sunk under the pressures of the world. So we must have faith. Hello, uh, Chris, my sister Chris, good to see you here. And of course, her husband Stephen was on. Um, good to see you. But uh, this is what faith does. It helps us to just cope with whatever circumstances and situations. And hey, we are in unprecedented times as we've talked about before. There is no doubt, but listen, there's also regular life going on, right? How many can say amen? Regular life is happening. Things are going on and situations are occurring that have nothing to do with the COVID-19 virus. I mean, there are circumstances that are still happening. Life is still going on. So we've got to find ourselves building up our faith so that we can navigate not only through the situations that are happening to us, uh, you know, based on the pandemic that's around us, but just basic life that is still trekking on through. And some of the prayer requests that we're going to talk about will deal with basic life or situations that are occurring that have nothing to do with uh, the particular you know situation that we're in with the virus and such. So, um, you know, uh, first thing I wanna do is, hey, I wanna encourage you, do this. Make sure that when you're out and about, I know this looks trippy, huh? Does it look like Dr. Martinez? Hello there, thank you very much. No, hey, you know what? This is a way that, 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 that we protect. So I got a mask here, I got a mask in my car, I got masks everywhere and so do you. And you guys got pretty masks. Hopefully you can still hear me. But you guys got pretty masks and some people got some really cool looking, looking fancy masks and such. But you know what? This is a good way to protect not only others, but a good way to protect yourself. You know what I'm talking about? And we were doing some statistics at home because two of my children are going into the medical field and we were doing statistics about masks and how it is that it not only protects you, um, you know, but it protects others as well. So whether you're, uh, you have something in you that you don't want to give to somebody or they have something, this will help us. So you know what? These are uncomfortable. Sure they are. I don't dig it at all. I don't even think it looks good on me. It kind of hides my, my cool little growth of my, uh, my, my, well, my wife calls it scruffy, but some people call it, you know, whatever you call that. But anyways, um, but just make sure that you're, that you're, that you're covering this up. Make sure we're washing, make sure we're, we're doing this. I know you've heard it everywhere, but you're going to continue here. Why? Because at the end of the day, what I want to see is everybody stay healthy and stay safe. And then when all this is gone, we can just praise the Lord and we can get back to doing what we do. You know what I'm talking about? We can get back to doing life, family and church and man. So let's just make sure that, that we do this type of thing and, 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 and it will go good. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of this simple reason. Samaran, good to see you here. Praise the Lord for that. Um, here's what the Lord uh, put on my heart for scripture. Jesus said this to his disciples in John 13, 34 and 35. Here's what he said. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. So speaking to his disciples, this was not a new command because this was spoken throughout the Bible of God's love 
that we are to love our neighbors. But Jesus would now give, he says, I give you a new commandment because he showed the essence of what love is when he came to give his life and sacrifice for his friends. He says, love each other just as I have loved you. Jesus gives a sacrificial love for one another. He says, this is the way you need to love one another, is that you need to give a sacrificial love. And in verse 35 of John 13, please listen with me here. He says, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. And I was thinking about this and I've been chewing on this because like you, I have seen so many things on the media and so many different ways throughout America of people saying, hey, we don't uh, choose to stay at home. We don't choose to separate. We're still going to come together. You know, we're still going to do what we want. It's a conspiracy and all this stuff. And you know what? I don't know about all that. And I'm not here to, to, to say anything about that situation or that opinion. But what I am here to tell you is Jesus said, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. And I want to encourage you as I've been really chewing on this thought is that we need to be loving one another enough to make sure that we are covering up, to make sure that we're washing up, to make sure that we are not putting any families in harm's way because we simply think we know greater than somebody else does. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? It's all about love. And this is what Jesus said, that we are to love one another as he has loved us. What did Jesus do? Jesus came and gave his life. He says, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for their friends. And let me tell you something, uh, loved ones and friends here on Facebook this morning. There is no greater love than to lay down your desires, to lay, to sacrifice your time, to sacrifice your comfort for somebody else's benefit. And here's the thing that will honor God. And when you honor God's word, God will honor you. Bible says you don't need to lift yourself up. God will do that. Let just serve God. Do what God says out of love and God will lift you up. God will bless you more than you can even imagine. Sometimes we get so locked up in our own minds. We get so locked up in our own thoughts that we forget about others. Let me tell you something. The greatest way that I have ever found to get out of my own uh, situation, my own uh, funky business in my mind, my own emotional constipation or things like that, here's one of the greatest ways is I begin to think about others. I begin to do for others. I begin to let, let, let my mind focus on the love that I have for other people and it helps lift me up. It helps draw me out. And it is an incredible situation that occurs within us when we do what Jesus did. That is that we love each other as he has loved us. And I, I hope you're with me and I hope you're understanding my heart here this morning. Because friends, what's going to get us through this situation, what's really going to help us is love. <laughs> we need more love. And I know that's a general term and we've talked about it in church if you've been here for any time and, and we've talked about how the, the word love gets thrown around so many different ways and I love my family, I love chocolates, you know. Hey, I love those uh, peanut butter Easter egg uh, uh, candies that, that we got in, in the little basket for the kids and unfortunately, I don't know about you, but boy, I'm a... Uh, uh, kind of uh, diving into those just a little too much. Everybody say, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but, uh, but it is what it is. But we can sit there and group up the word love with I love my chocolate peanut butter Easter bunny egg and, or my chocolate marshmallows or my daughter's peeps or whatever the, the, the you know, those little marshmallow nasty little things. Um, and, uh, or, and then you sit there and say, oh, I love my family. I love Jesus. So again, the point is simply saying we can use love in so many different ways, but the reality is we really need to show because love is an action and love will get us through and love will shine brightly in the days that we are at. The apostle Paul would tell us in Philippians, and if you are on uh, version, which I 
suggest that you get on if you don't have the U version app for your phone I suggest that maybe you check it out because it's a wonderful uh, free app that goes on to Android phones and on to Apple phones and it, it can give us uh, connection to the Word of God in all kinds of different type of uh, translations and devotions and and what we used to do on our prayer praise and proclaim service on Tuesday mornings when when we were able to come together on a regular basis is that we would use the daily scripture and one of them uh, I want to read to you today and maybe some of you are here and you've already read it this morning but here's what the Apostle Paul would tell the church in Philippi a young church of of growing Christians and he would encourage them and, and he would say this in Philippians chapter 1 verses 9 through 11 and let me read this to you this morning and I pray that the word of God will bless you before we get into our prayer time. It says, I pray, the Apostle Paul speaking over the church, he says, I pray that your love, that your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. So he's talking about the love manifested through our life as Jesus earlier spoke to us, right? The new commandment, love each other as I have loved you, John 13, 34. 35 says your love for each other will prove that you're my disciples. The apostle Paul, uh, you know, mirroring the, the words of Christ that he would say, I pray that your love would overflow more and more, that you'll keep growing in knowledge and understanding. What does that mean? What do we keep, what, what knowledge and understanding? Of course, it would be the knowledge and the understanding of what God's uh, word tells us and what his plan is for our lives. So he would continue to encourage us not only to grow, he would encourage the church not only grow in their love for one another as Jesus spoke to us in John 13, but he would also tell us that we keep growing in the knowledge. Remember earlier I said that faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. This is as we grow in our knowledge and our understanding. He says this, now get this with me here in Philippians 1 and look at, here it is. 10 and 11 and I want to uh, read this to you because it is a blessing it says for I want you to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ's return he says for I want you to understand what really matters talking about this verse he's talking about what he just said earlier I want you to understand what really matters. Friends, what really matters? Love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the, that's the greatest commandment Jesus would reply to us. And the second is similar to the first, is like the first. Love your neighbor as yourself. These are words from Jesus. This is what really matters in life, is to first love God, then love one another. This, it says, uh, completes all of the commandments of the, the Bible. To love God first, love people next, the same. This is what really matters in life. Love will help us to overcome. Love one another. Love your family. Love your friends. It will bless you more than you can even imagine. And guess what? Navigating through these days will be so much less complicated if we just fill our lives and our minds with the love of God. If we just fill our, our days, and I've heard so many people saying, I'm so bored and I don't know what to do and things like that. Hey, we can expand ourselves and we can take time to, to put love in action and watch our families thrive. Watch our relationships with other friends and family thrive because of how we're talking to one another, how we're uh, engaging with one another. And again, remember I've told you before that, you know, social distancing does not mean that we need to have uh, social disengagement. No, we need to be engaging uh, with each other. And the apostle says, so I want you to understand what really matters and that is to be filled growing in the knowledge and understanding of God. And verse 11 says, may you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation. The righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ. For this will bring much glory and praise to God. 
The Bible tells us that what Jesus did in our life will produce good fruit. And that because we choose to have Jesus in our life, we need to allow that love, that righteousness that Christ places in our life to manifest in everything we do. For this will bring much glory and praise to God. And here's a really cool fact. The Bible says that he, speaking of Jesus, who did a good work in you, will be faithful to complete it until the day that we are perfected. Means that the day that we go to heaven. That he will continue to work inside of our faith. He will continue to give us the strength that we need. God will work inside of us. The good work that he created started long ago, God will continue to do because he's a faithful God. And no, God has not left us during these times of trials and tribulations. But I believe that God is oh so near to all of us. Now, I pray that that word has blessed you this morning. And I pray that, that you have, are receiving from what the Lord uh, has done, is doing. And again, if you checked in with us later, haven't, didn't get the full message, it will be on Facebook. Um, and I encourage you, go back and listen to the Word of God because it's the Word of God that gives us the strength. It's the Word of God that gives us the confidence. It's the Word of God that will truly help us all in our minds and our bodies and our very souls. It's the word of God that endures forever. So please, friend, we're going to pray, but please go back and listen to what I feel the Lord spoke to me to give to you today. It will certainly bless you. And you can also share it. And it's not that Pastor Anthony has the words of wisdom of the day or that, that I have any you know super revelation more than anyone else. But what I'm saying is this is what the Lord put on my heart for you today and for all that will hear. And I hope that it truly blesses you. And I bet you it will. Because the word of God does not return void. The word of God does not return void. So check out the encouragement part of this. Now I want to talk a little bit about our prayer request this morning and just check in our, um, our website to see if any other prayer requests came in, um, but I don't see that. But I want to mention, we, we have some friends and, and we're going to pray for our families and we're gonna pray for our friends and, and we're gonna ask the Lord to uh, bless our time here today. So I hope that you're hanging out with us and you know, it's interesting, you see the numbers go up and down and and things and and you just never really know but I hope that you're hanging with us because these are important times that we have to get connected and again it, it, it's not any more special because you know it's me but this is this is the my heart for you and where the Lord has placed us and being the pastor of the olive branch uh, my heart just reaches out and, and and cries out to God for each one of you and so I want to spend some time in prayer because I told you I would and um, we have a, 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 a dear sister, Rasan, and, and she checked in this morning, and maybe you're still on here. Um, again, I don't know who's on or who's not, but I'm going to pray. Um, we want to pray for Rasan, and, and she's asking unspoken needs. And again, this is very well, unspoken uh, needs for herself and unspoken uh, needs for uh, her daughter's family. Um, and, and she has several daughters here and I just want to name the daughters, Nicole and Sabrina and Haley. Um, they, they just need to, she's asking for the Lord to bless them to stay healthy and to stay safe as they're working on their daily lives. Um, and, and many of them are working in positions. Hi, Rasan. Um, so we're just praying for your daughters, uh, Rasan, Nicole, Sabrina and Haley and, and praying for your family as well. So. Uh, may the Lord bless your family. May the Lord just keep your daughters protected and safe. And, and, and I know he will. And hey, can I tell you something out there? Give a shout out to praying mamas. There is power in praying mothers. If you're a praying mom, give me a heart. Give, give, give her, but it's our shooting those hearts up for praying mamas. Cause I'm thankful for praying mamas and, and you guys are so awesome and, and, and just wonderful. Uh, to do so. So I'm sure in a second we're going to see some praying mama uh, hearts coming up because that's what we're doing. There they are. There's our praying mamas. God bless you. Keep praying. Mamas, keep praying. Keep praying for your children, praying for your grandchildren and, 
uh, and there they are. Look at look at all you. Oh, even a praying dad. Yep, I get you. Praying dads, don't you know? Shout out to praying dads out there. Come on now. Uh, if you want, if you're if you're too macho to put the heart up, put the thumbs up, guys. Uh, we don't have one of the yeah, but uh, you know, but you know what? It's all about love, right? So praying moms, praying dads. God bless you guys. God bless you. So we're praying for Rossanne's family. Also, uh, we want to pray uh, for a member of uh, one of our, our family, dear family missionaries uh, that we want to, uh, to, to lift up and uh, the Bass family. So if you, are, if you are with us or maybe you'll check this out later, um, we're praying for the Bass family and, and praying for our friends over um, at Saboba uh, Reservation. And, and he's just asking that we would that we would lift them up and and uh, God bless you, Gail and Bob, doctor's appointment. Yes, we'll be praying for you guys as well. So we'll be lifting you up, amen, uh, to do that. And as I talked about, there's regular life, right? Doctor's appointments and, and things going on. So, but we wanna lift up the Bass family and their family members and uh, Saboba mm -hmm. Reservation and, and God knows exactly what, what they're asking for. So we want to lift them up. Also, uh, Brother Trevor, uh, we're praying for your dad, Carl uh, Bailey today and, and for health and, and may the Lord just bless him and may the Lord just touch him and continue to heal. We've heard some great reports for Carl and, and we're just gonna continue to pray and th that the Lord would just bless and do incredible work inside of the Bailey household. Uh, thankful. Also praying for our, our very own uh, sister Debbie Bowers. Um, want to uh, lift her up as well. Not feeling so well. So kind of out of the office here for a couple days. So I told her to take a couple days off and, and heal up. I know she's on here this morning. So God bless you, Debbie. And may the Lord heal you. And may the Lord just uh, completely take care of the Bauer family um, healing and finances and such. So we are lifting up. Got a prayer this uh, request this morning via our phone from uh, Patty uh, Diaz and praying for a young man named Joseph and he's at Children's Hospital and the Lord just needs to touch Joseph and so we're lifting up Joseph to in the name of the Lord to uh, for the Lord to heal and to, and to make whole so you know and the thing is a beautiful part about this friends God knows exactly who it is we're mentioning and I don't need to give all the details. You know the details. Some of you that have requested them. But God knows everything. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that actually beautiful? That God knows everything. <laughs> and He, I just need to speak them out before the Lord. And he will definitely work uh, inside of our lives. Tim and Sylvia Hoskins. God bless you guys. Uh, making a prayer request. Uh, praying for their son Danny. Daughter Maria. And uh, Tim's sister Diane. Uh, they continue to work every day in public grocery store and medical offices. God bless you guys for helping serve us. You know, we talk about praying and we're going to pray for our medical staffs. We're going to pray for our first responders and those that help us. But how many know that we still got people giving us groceries and uh, people working at Costco and Sam's Club and Staters and Walmart and 99 cent store and all these targets and all these places that these guys are coming to work. They're seeking to to, to make a, a living uh, every day. So, you know, you know, these guys got to work and, and I'm thankful. The fast food workers, I'm thankful, you know, those that are keeping masked up and cleaned up that are serving us food in our daily. So we got to pray for them as well. So we do lift up Tim and Sylvia, Danny, Maria, and Tim's sister, Diane, uh, that they would be free and, and protected from viruses or any other disease. Um, and and she's also, they also put a request in for those um, who are out of work and for those who are working that God would continue to provide in, in such a powerful way. And we're going to be praying for finances uh, in just a few. So stay with us here. Stay with us. I know, you know, I, well, that's all I got to say. What else are you doing? I hope this is worth your time. Um, but uh, uh, we want to pray for that. And, and they also put a request in praying for revival to come out of this turmoil. God bless you. And I believe that to be true. And that millions of people would come to Jesus, come to the Lord. That is exactly our prayer as Christians, that people would just give the Lord an open door to just speak his love. Uh, you know, and we're not going to slam the gospel down your throat or Bible thump you. But just simply saying, hey, just open up your heart to the Lord and, and, and let him, let him show himself. 
taste and see the Lord is good, and I bet you'll see how good God is. So that's what we want to do, is it's a message of love. Remember? Love. Take away. Love. It's a message of love. Um, I want to pray for Gail and Bob. Um, Gail had uh, put a request in that they had to check out this morning, and they'll view this a little bit later, I'm sure. Uh, but Gail has uh, her Aunt Barbara, who's been battling health uh, situations and um, so we want to uh, lift up her Aunt Barbara. She took a fall in the hospital and they're assessing her injuries. So she's been so challenged with so many things and, and Bob and Gail are so faithful to take care of their family. You know what? Can I give a shout out? Can I give a shout out right now for all of those who are caretakers and those that would take care of their family members when they're down or when they're sick or when they have need? God bless you. God, give me some hearts up, uh, church, and, and those watching this. God bless those who take care of their family. You know what? I am so uh, passionate about uh, that that people should be taking care of their family members and cry and praying for them and, and and they should be the first responders for taking care of the needs and you know we're calling around and asking hey do you need groceries do you need help do you got everything and I'm so blessed to hear of how many people are saying hey no my family members my kids and of course I'm talking about a lot of our elderly and such that are part of our church and I'm hearing hey no my family's stepping up my family's doing the shopping and you know we have a designated shopper if you will you know and man God bless you caretakers God bless you families that are looking out for each other you know we've got to take care of our families first you know we got to be like Noah Noah saved his family and that's what we need to be um, is to be those that are taking care of. so God bless you family members that are looking out for each other man oh it is absolutely a wonderful blessing. I was talking to Brother Don the other day, Durbin, and he's he's like, praise the Lord, Pastor. I said, you need anything? He says, nope, my, my family, my kids just dropped off three bags of groceries. I'm a blessed man. Oh, God bless that. God bless that. What a wonderful, wonderful uh, blessing that is. So Gail's taking care of her Aunt Barbara and uh, took a fall. So I want to pray for Aunt Barbara, just battling so many things. And I also want to pray for Brother Bob Kirk and, 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 and church, you know Bob and Gail Kirk and they are our care ministers here at our church and you've probably gotten a call or two from them as of late and um, pray for them. Uh, Brother Bob's going in for some tests and, and he needs prayer and, and um, we just want to ask the Lord to make sure again, as I told you, nothing to do with COVID-19 in Bob's life right now, but it has to do with uh, regular physical things that go on in our bodies. As I mentioned earlier, things are still happening. Uh, you know, uh, situations in life doesn't take a break simply because of, of, you know, the pandemic that's around us. So pray for Bob, please continue to pray for him and good reports from the tests uh, that he'll be doing. And, um, so I just, I just really reaching out for you, brother Bob and love you. And you have, uh, given so, uh, sacrificially to our church and our members that uh, we need to be praying uh, for you as well. I got a prayer request here of praying for Reuben. So we want to lift up Reuben uh, in the name of the Lord, Brother Reuben, that God would touch you. I think Virginia mentioned on here. All right, so we're going to continue to pray even though we lost signal. No problem. No worries. Here we are. Power of prayer. Amen. Amen. want to pray for Sonny Ramirez. And this will be part two. So if you're catching us, this is part two of our two-part feed because we lost signal um, on our first hit. It just all of a sudden dropped out. Don't know what happened, but uh, this is part two. So catch it. And I see people jumping back on. So praise the Lord because we're going to pray and, and we're going to keep mentioning requests. So repeat it. Hey, the internet's not going to stop us. The enemy is not going to stop us. We are going to keep praying. We are going to keep believing. This is part two again. To those shooting on, part two. Part one, we lost connection, but that was the word of God in prayer request. Part two, we're going to keep on keeping on. The Lord is with us. Amen. Amen. I uh, want to pray for Brother Sonny Ramirez. 
Uh, Sonny Ramirez uh, is undergoing some tests at the hospital, so uh, very difficult. Can't go there because of the uh, of the blockages at the, with the order right now. But we were praying for Sonny Ramirez. May the Lord heal and may the Lord protect uh, and bless him. Karen, uh, I see you're back on here. Praise the Lord. Uh, so Karen, salvation for family, and we're praying for Val and Mary and. Um, also praying for friend's daughter Jessica, uh, praying for Marsha's grandson, um, and praying for your nephews uh, Stephen and Jake. Also another prayer request for um, praying for um, nurses and doctors. So we want to be faithful in praying uh, for them as well. And also, um, we're, so we're going to go ahead and go to prayer. And I know that uh, you might be back on here and I lost about half of you, it looks like, uh, from the disruption of the connection because it just cut off the internet. So before we go to prayer right now, I just want to let you, this is part two. So if you're catching this, uh, this is part two. We're going to pray. We made some prayer. Uh, the word of God of encouragement uh, was in part one. And now this being part two of our encouragement and prayer. But now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Now we're going to pray. And I pray that you will join with us. I pray that you are coming back with us. And I pray that you will believe. And if you're watching this live, let's pray. If you're watching this video in a few moments or later on in the day, we're praying. And um, again, uh, God bless you for being here. Father, we lift up all of these requests that we uh, have made known to you name by name, person by person. And Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus, Lord, to work in every single one of their lives. Father, we ask you to do an incredible work of healing, provision, God's salvation, all of the unspoken needs that were spoken out that I mentioned out earlier, uh, Lord, that we just ask you and lift them up before you in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for our families. We pray for our loved ones. We pray for our friends, Lord. And Father, of course, we're praying over this COVID-19 virus, this pandemic that has affected the world, God, that is in America, that is in our state, that is in our community. We pray against it in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Father, for a healing, Father. We ask you for a vaccine. We ask you for, uh, Lord, for you to completely just eradicate this whole virus and get rid of every single trace of it in the name of Jesus. Lord, you can do it, and we're going to hold firm in our faith to believe, Lord, that you will do it. And Father, when we're thinking of praying, we do pray for not only our family, our friends, our loved ones, but we pray, Lord, for our community, God. We pray, Lord, that you would place a hedge of protection around our community in health and provision over the, our state of California, Lord, that your hand would be upon this state. We pray for America, Lord, for each one. Uh, to just be healthy and safe. And we pray for those uh, that have uh, contracted this COVID-19 virus. We pray, Lord, that you would heal them and bring them to safety and that, Lord, there'd be a good place for people to go and be cared for. We pray for those uh, loved ones who have lost loved ones. God, we certainly, our hearts bleed out for them, cry out for those that have lost during this time, Lord. So we ask you, Father, to be very near. We ask you, Father, to bless those who have lost. Bless those that are battling, God, this virus. Bless those that are battling any health situations, Father. So we do lift them up before you, Lord. We lift up our world, God, that, Father, your hand... Uh, Lord, we, we've heard the, the song or the, the words that say, you've got the whole world in your hand, oh God. So Father, would you just embrace and heal and, and do an incredible work and may your love uh, be at the forefront of all that is done in this world, God. Father, we do pray and lift up our medical personnel. We lift up our first responders, God. We lift up all those, Lord, that are uh, helping to take care of us in different industries of food and automotive, wherever the case may be of people that are helping to keep things and our situations going forward to the best they can. We pray for their healing. We pray for their protection. 
We pray, God, that you would help their families uh, to thrive. Father, we do uh, lift up uh, people's needs financially. As we know, God, we are in unprecedented times, and Lord, that we are facing a lot of uh, jobs that are being lost during this time. And Father, we just lift them up before you. And, and, and if you have a need, uh, we just pray for you and that need or family members that have needs or lost jobs. We're praying, God, that you would provide for all that have need uh, in financial ways, financial provisions, Lord. We just pray in the name of Jesus, Father. But we lift up all the requests before you. We ask you, God, to do an incredible blessing, an incredible work in our communities and our families. But Father, we ask you that during this time that we are facing this pandemic, the time that we are facing these unprecedented times, that God, your face would, your love would shine so brightly into our lives. And that God, you would do an incredible blessing, an incredible work inside of each of our lives inside of lives of people that are crying out to you, inside of lives that are people that are calling out to you, inside of the lives of people who don't even know you yet. May you bless our friends, our family, and may you draw all people to Jesus so that each one could find the love of God, which is incredible. So Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you, God, for the answer to our prayers. We thank you, God, that your word tells us that you're working all things for good for those who love you, who are called according to your purpose. And though I don't pretend to understand all things, I do know this, my God, our God is faithful and that he will accomplish everything that he has spoken in his word. My God is a healer. My God is a provider. My God is, can do immeasurably, incredibly more than I can even imagine or think about. So let's trust in God of the Bible. Let's trust in Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Let's trust in him and allow his spirit to guide us in these crazy days that we live in. So Father, bless each one here, those that joined us live in both of our broadcasts. May you do an incredible work in their life. I thank you, Father, for your love, your faithfulness. I thank you for your grace and your mercy. It's in Jesus' name. And each one together said, amen. Amen. Well, thank you for being with us in our prayer time. Again, I'm sorry that we lost the transmission earlier. The internet went out for a moment. But this being our part two, this is our prayer time. So continue to pray. Continue to trust in the Lord. The Bible tells us that we need to pray without ceasing. We need to pray continually. And as what was spoken here by Brother Bill, yes, we need to be praying for our president, our vice president, praying for the CDC, praying for our government to work together for the good of the people, for God's wisdom to be upon them, to make decisions based on seeking the ways of the Lord. So pray, pray for those in leadership, pray for those who make decisions, pray for your local government, pray for our governor, our mayors, pray for all those to give us godly guidance, godly answers, godly wisdom. And may the Lord bless them as well. So God bless you and may the Lord's face shine upon you. May he be ever so gracious to you and may the Lord's love surround you. God bless you. Tomorrow night at 6.30, Pastor Jen and I will be on live hanging out with Pastors A and J more encouragement, more word of God, more just great laughter and comments. We'll give the state of the church, our church, our local church, TOB, and what's happening tomorrow night as well. So hopefully you'll join us then. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We love you, my friends. We miss you. But God is on the throne. Amen. Amen. Have a great day.